Now we're going to walk through how to customize and design the header of your website. To start, just go to easysite.localbookmarket. Go to the customer login page right here and type in your email and the password you were given when you signed up for the site and click login. Once you're in your website manager, you're going to click on the top left hand link called Business Basics. From there you'll see the full array of header design options, everything from the logo to the header image, which is a header background, and then the options for which contact information you'd like on the top right hand side. To design the header, first we're going to look and see what the standard default site looks like. This is for Morning Joe's Coffee Shop, and you'll see a regular static image on the left hand side here, along with the name of the business, which is in its regular text form. So this is not currently a graphic. And you'll also see the background is just the standard plain brown uh, background that came with the template. Going back to see how we can design this and make it look a little bit more professional, the first thing we're going to do is select a new logo. In our website manager, you have two different options. You can have the original size, which is 110 pixels wide by 80 pixels high, or you can also have a larger size option, which is 500 pixels wide by 80 pixels high. We're going to go with the larger size option right now and go with one of the images that we built before this demo. Now one thing that's important to remember, if you're going to add text and you want the logo to be transparent, make sure to use a PNG format instead of a JPEG. The JPEG is going to give a matte finish and uh, if you have white in it, it's going to actually show the white. The PNG can be transparent and be just a lot better looking. So we're going to choose the PNG file we created and it is exactly the right dimensions. It's going to be 500 pixels wide by 80 pixels high and then we just scroll down to the bottom we click update business and now we can go back and see what the site looks like with the new logo. We hit refresh and you see it has a much better looking logo text and it we kept the same icon but it just has a much more professional feel. You'll see that the header background is still the brown. We want to create something a little bit more professional so we went with the service Pixlr and created a header that is exactly uh, the right size. It's going to be a thousand pixels wide by 120 pixels high and we created a stock we added a stock photo that was exactly that size width and then we added a nice gradient background to give it a good graphical feel. Save that to our folder. And now we go right back into that Business Basics tab and click the header image. We select the file that we created for the background of the header, click open, scroll down and hit update business. After that's been uploaded, we can go back to our site, hit refresh, and you'll see the new background that we've created. And you'll see it has a much better looking feel than a regular plain one, and it carries on to every page of the site. This is something that a lot of customers usually like to see because it has a more professional look and feel. Now, some of the other options we have depending on the type of business you are, you may or may not want to show your contact phone, your address, your city and state, and the country that the business is in. For a coffee shop like this, all their customers are pretty much going to be from the same country that they're in, so they don't want to have that included on the right hand side. So we'll go and we'll unselect that from the contact info uh, box, go down, hit update business, hit refresh back on the site and you'll see on the right hand side that country icon or that country text has been taken away. So that's how to design a new header and to uh, control the options on the right hand side. If you want to see the difference between the two, this is what the site looked like at first. 
And now here it is with the updated header, giving it a much more professional look and a better feel for the customers visiting your site. If you have any other questions, you can always, once you're logged in, you can click the live help option right on the site during for every page of the website manager, and you can chat with us directly, or you can always contact us through email or through our customer service line.